Okay, here we go. Here's how to create a great lesson plan in minutes. You are now looking live at my desktop. I got a little timer here in the on the right side right here. To keep myself honest, when I said we're going to create a great lesson plan in minutes, I mean we're going to create a great lesson plan in minutes. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is open up a Word document. Now there are times when I need to pause this, but don't worry, I keep the timer going. So we got a Word document open. Then we're going to go to our good friend, the Internet. We are going to search for short, sto uh, short stories in high school. And uh, we have some here, short stories for high school students. Here we go. We're going to be teaching a short story today. All right. Uh, again, I did not pre-plan this or anything. We have a couple here. In, now, you're going to need a little bit of knowledge of of uh, literature, of course, and the, you're a teacher, so I'm assuming you do. Uh, story of an hour looks like a good one. We're going to click on story of an hour. Now, I don't know if this is in the book or not. Is this even in the book? I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it. You know, you might need to send this to a substitute teacher or... Uh, you might need to make copies. I don't know. I'm not going to take any chances though. So let's copy and paste this. This is all done on a Word document. I don't like this yellow. So let's get, there we go. Oops. Let's do the whole thing. Let's just get rid of the yellow. Again, we're on the fly here. We're trying to, oh, we don't need the picture. Get rid of that picture. And let's get rid of the picture again. Oh, all right. Let's get rid of the picture again. Okay, we don't need this stuff. Get rid of that. And this is kind of too big, I think. Uh, so let's... Okay, this is all in real time. Which is why it's so frustrating. Just kidding. Alright, we're going to reduce this. We're going to reduce the size of this. We don't want any more than... we got three pages there. Okay, so we have our story. In case it's not in the book. Uh, if you're nice to your copy guy, uh, then he'll have no problem making copies of it for you. You might not even need the copies. You might just, instead of searching on the internet, you might just want to look in the textbook you have, but it's not what we're doing here. All right, we're going to go to a new page. Now, we want it to be a good lesson, right? Now, I read the story of an hour in high school. I've also taught it a couple times. But even if I hadn't, I know enough about it that there is irony in it. So, irony in the story of an hour. And then I'm going to include some directions. Gonna, let's start with a definition of irony. We don't, you know, I don't know what level students you have, but uh, regardless of the level, it's a good idea to put uh, the definition there. Irony is the difference between appearance and reality there are three primary types of irony now again this does require obviously it requires uh, knowledge of literature and knowledge of teaching uh, I don't think someone off the street could come and do this but you're not someone off the street you're a teacher so I have faith in you and I have faith in myself that I can do this. So we have verbal irony when something said means something different than what it seems. And we have situational irony when what happen oops two p's and that is the opposite of what is expected and we have dramatic irony one of my favorite kinds is when the reader knows stuff the characters do not now i don't really like how this is so far spaced apart so i'm going to fix it There we go. Knowledge of word is also a good idea. And while we're adding it, again, we want it to look good. Just because we're in a hurry doesn't mean it has to look like we're in a hurry. How's our timer looking? 
We are at five minutes now. All right, we better hurry up. Now what we're going to do next is, now I remember from the story that there's verbal, situational, and dramatic irony in the story. So I'm going to make a three-column chart. I'm going to insert a table. We're going to have one, two, three columns, and then we'll give... All right. So I have example from the text as one column type of irony and the next one let's center those if you're like me you like to center things as you go and we have analysis of we'll just put analysis again we're kind of doing this in a hurry later on we can go back and make it look nice and pretty all right we're going to need some room here As you see, I'm not even a Microsoft Word expert because I could have just gone down here and done this and saved ourselves a whole lot of time. All right, so this looks pretty good. And you don't really need this much space for the type of, for the uh, top part. We're going to take care of that. You don't need this much space for the type of irony. You might need a little more space for the analysis, though, right? So here we have, uh, let's make this chart look good again. Let's make our uh, boxes thicker. There's all sorts you all sorts of amazing things you can do with a simple program like Microsoft Word. We're gonna need some instructions, so directions. And let's get a little another space here. Find examples of irony from the story of an hour by Kate Chopin and write it in write them in the left column in the middle column identify the type of irony in the right column explain how the example supports the story's theme. There you go. And our lesson plan. Oh, it's not quite finished. I jumped the gun. We got to shrink this. What just happened? Oh, now we made it super duper big. Let's shrink it again. Oh, there we go. Now we got to make it bigger. Isn't lesson planning so much fun? I think it is. Okay, I did stop the video, but I did not stop the timer when I did that. Because I didn't think he wanted to see me flounder trying to get the uh, columns right. Alright, so here's our chart. This is ready to go. How long did this take? Dun, 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 dun. 8 minutes and 58 seconds. It stopped at 8 minutes 59 seconds. To be honest with you, it would have been a little bit faster if I wasn't narrating the entire time. So in, in less than nine minutes, we have ourselves, we started with nothing. We didn't, have an, we didn't really even have a story. Uh, and now we have a full-blown lesson plan. Now you're thinking, well, what if, I, what if I need to write an objective on the board? No problem. This, this is my favorite objective. This is RL. Now I happen to be a student of the of the Common Core standards. I mean, I do have a website called elacommoncorelessonplans.com, but if you had these handy, you could just throw out this, or you could do uh, copy and paste from the website. Website in RL 9-10.1 is find. Uh, it's a literary standard about finding specific evidence from stories and talking about them. And you could just write on the board. You don't even need this. You could just do the old students will find specific examples of irony from a literary work and explain its significance. There you go. You're done. You have everything ready to go. 
Congratulations. Now there are a few things I would like to point out about this lesson plan. First of all, it's a good lesson plan. Didn't take you a long time. It could be done with pretty much any story using any literary device. Second of all, it's it differentiates. You have differentiated learn differentiated learning in this. Uh, you teach into different styles, and it's not that hard. It just takes a few minutes of focus. Now, if you planning does not, I repeat, does not have to be this big ordeal. It's just a matter of having things organized, having some standards to throw out there. Uh, having a basic knowledge of, of literature. Now, obviously, if you've been teaching 15 or 20 years, you're going to have a, a little more at your disposal. But, uh, you know, coming out of college, you know enough. First or second or third year teachers, you know, you know enough to teach a high school class, no matter how advanced or how basic the students are. That's my goal here. That's what I think we could all use a little bit less stress in the classroom, couldn't we? Now I tell you, you can create a semester's worth of lesson plans in just a day or two, a few days is all it takes. Think about it, how much less stress would you experience if you had your plans and materials ready months in advance. So let's say it's August. You walk into school in the end of August, first or second day of school, and you have every all your lesson plans done between now and Christmas. How sweet would that be? Not only do you have the lessons done, but you have all the handouts printed out and you have the copies either submitted to the copy person or you have them ready to submit. So you can find out how awesome this feeling is with my new course coming out real soon. It's called Stress-Free Lesson Planning. Stress-Free Lesson Planning provides the method and the materials to help you create your entire semester's lesson plan in just days. So keep posted. Keep looking and checking in your inbox for when this course is going to be officially launched. And of course, you can always check back here at ELA Common Core Lesson Plans.com.